G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Before we get into this video, I need to welcome a whole pile of new subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you find it interesting and informative. With my style of humour, you may even get a giggle out of it, or you might get a giggle out of the fact that I can take the piss out of myself. So welcome aboard. Okay, super quick video for you here for this one. I just wanted to talk about this little unit. This is my black box 6 to 1 switch unit. And basically what it is, you have six inputs, one output, and it allows you to control various serial uh, equipment, whether it be RS-232 or RS-422. I don't know that this will do RS-485. Uh, I haven't had a lot of experience with RS-485, but RS-232 and 422 I've used numerous times. I do know that some places still use these for switching between uh, inputs and outputs. And basically what it is, you have six inputs, one output, and you'll notice here that there's a letter missing, and we'll get to that momentarily. I'm unsure whether black box are still functioning. Um, I do know they made numerous versions of this. You've got the DB25, which is this one, the DB9, the RJ11, the RJ45 plug. So... Uh, really, really handy. They made 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 6 to 1, etc, etc. On the back, and as I said, it's a pretty plain box, you'll see we have seven DB25 female plugs. The good thing with this is it's both DB25 and DB9. It'll take both. Now, obviously, the DB9 has to be in a DB, DB25 style of plug. But basically, you have six inputs, so A to... Um, D and E, F and G and C is your output so you would plug your control system into here and then you'd have your uh, externals into these plugs and as I said the good thing is they are both DB25 and DB11 now the cables I got with this are the DB11 cables oh sorry DB25 plugs but they've only got 11 pins in them so the thing works on a DB uh DB9 uh, system, but I, I have had DB25 plugged into it. So a really, really handy, nifty little piece of equipment. Now, what I'm actually going to do with this, this is going to go into the cabinet. And um, <clears throat> basically what I've decided to do is I can actually have SSC0, SSC1, and the V490 all plugged into this. C, obviously, to the serial emulator. And instead of me having to start and stop... Um, various putty um, sessions, I can have a ma ma master putty session coming off this. It's a really, really handy, uh, great piece of equipment. As I said, they did make a uh, dedicated DB9 version of this. I have seen uh, RJ45 versions of this. So um, you would have, say, for example, you might have, say, four RJ45 in one RJ45 out and it works on serial. I don't, I'm not sure that it's actually a um, a uh, network switch, so to speak, but they're definitely a comms uh, switch box. Really handy piece of uh, equipment and it will be mounted into the cabinet pretty much like it is. I mean, it's, it, there's no weight in them. There's no weight in them. All you've got um, a whole pile of switches and then this big thing. It's much like the uh, small cream ones. I can't remember the name of the manufacturer, but they're about you know, inch and a half high and by about the same width and you've got, you know, one switch in, you might have two ins and one out pretty much. But the stuff from Black Box, which I've used plenty of it, I, I've um, used Black Box switch equipment quite a number of times and I think they're great. As I said, I don't know if they're still going. Someone will be able to tell me. Um, <clears throat> they're from America and the only reason I know that is there's an American-style phone number down there. Um, so really handy... Uh, piece of equipment. Anyway, short video for you there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.